Welcome students to lesson 45 of class 12. In this lesson, we will discuss about diffraction to a single slit. Now, in last class, we have discussed about diffraction. What is diffraction? The bending of light waves around the corners of the obstacles into the region of a geometrical shadow. Now, in this class, we will study in detail what is actually happening in the diffraction. So what is that? Suppose you have a source of light. This source of light is producing or giving out light in all direction. Now what we will do is using a convex lens, we will make the light to focus on this slit this small gap of width how much w now when the light goes through the slit we will use another convex lens to focus it on the screen fine now what i want you to notice is that let us consider three points in the slit point a point c and point b now the light coming from this point a goes and strikes on the surface at this point O, whereas the light traveling from point C passes undeviated, whereas the light passing from the point B, it also goes and strikes at this point O. Now what happens when all of the light goes and strikes the surface O? What actually happens is that, let us divide the slit into your secondary sources each sources we will give a number like this one 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 now the light coming out of this 12 sources they all passes parallel to each other after they pass through a lens they are made to focus at this point o on the screen now, when they are focused at this point O on the screen, what happens? Suppose you have the light coming from the point A of the slit and you have another light coming from point C of the slit. This is your slit or this is your gap. The light, let us consider this one is the, the red one is coming from point A and the green one is coming from the point C. Now, since the light are coming from the same source, or I'll say the light is coming from a monochromatic source, there's no change in frequency, there's no change in phase. Now, what happens is that if the light coming out of the sources, they strike on the surface or they strike on the screen, what happens is that they interfere constructively. So we know what happens when they interfere constructively or what happens when they superpose each other in this case they are now as we have already studied now if the two waves superpose each other like the crest falls on the crest of the other the trow falls on the trow of the other what happens the two light interfere constructively that means the two light adds up with each other so let us say this blue one is the resultant light fine so if the two waves interfere constructively so you have a resultant wave which has a higher amplitude if the resultant wave has a higher amplitude means it will have a higher intensity so at the point o what you will notice is that All of the light which falls at this point, at the center, they all interfere constructively because they are all in the same phase. Now, if they all interfere constructively means you will have a bright spot at the center. Now, the bright spot have a, at the center will have a intensity. Can you see this one? This is the intensity. That means it will be a very bright spot at the center. Fine. Right? 
now let us consider any random point on the screen let us say let us say that point b p fine now what you notice is that the light goes and gets focused at this point p as well okay now what you will notice the light going out of this point a and the light going out of this point c they have not traveled the same distance can you see the light coming out of this point c has traveled this extra path so there is a path difference coming into a picture fine so what you notice is that when there is a extra part difference let us say at this point you have a extra part difference of how much lambda when there is a extra part difference of lambda there is a extra part difference at lambda okay now since this is the center of the triangle so at this point there will be a extra part difference of let us say only lambda by 2 there is a extra part difference of lambda by 2 so what happens when there is a extra part difference of lambda by 2 let us compare the light coming from this point a and the light coming from this point c but remember the light coming from the point c has traveled how much extra path lambda by 2 fine so this is the light coming out of the point a this is the light coming out of the point c what you notice is that the light at from the point c has traveled a extra part difference now due to this extra part difference what actually happens is that can you see now are they in same phase with each other or i'll say do they look similar no they don't look similar what they look is that they look exactly opposite to each other so what happens when they superpose each other when they superpose each other what you will notice is that the crest of the wave coming out of this point a interferes with the trough coming out of the point c you see the amplitudes here in this case the amplitude is high the amplitude is low or let us say this one has an amplitude one and this one has an amplitude minus one so at this point the amplitude is one whereas at this point how much is the amplitude minus one one and minus one cancels each other so what kind of interference is this one this is an example of a destructive interference where the two waves cancel each other fine now if the two waves, what happens how will your resultant wave look like it will look like this blue line that means there is no light passing through if there is no light passing through what happens at the screen you will see nothing there will be a dark spot on the screen so what happens in this case is that the light coming out of this point and the light coming out of this point they have a part difference and how much is the part difference of lambda by 2 if there is a part difference of lambda by 2 there is a phase reversal or i'll say they are out of phase if they are out of phase and they undergo interference or they superpose each other what happens they interfere destructively they cancel each other if they cancel each other what happens you will have a dark spot if you have a dark spot what happens to the intensity the intensity at this point will be zero so can you notice at the center we had the maximum intensity and at this point we have no intensity so the curve is zero at this point right To take a better look at this one, 
let us consider it like this suppose the light let us divide the slit into 12 independent sources fine now consider the light coming out of the point zero this one goes and strikes the surface at point p and the light coming out of the point six goes and strikes the surface at the point p now if this two light goes and strike the surface what happens you have a resultant wave or you will have, you won't have a resultant wave there will be no resultant wave the two waves will cancel each other so you will have a dark spot at this point p right in similar manner the light coming out of this point and the light coming out of this source will cancel each other similarly the light coming out of this point let us say from the source 2 will be cancelled by the light coming out of this point 8 or the light coming out of this source 8 if the light is coming out of this source 4 is being cancelled by the light coming out of this point 10 understand suppose this are your 12 source we can divide it into two parts the first part and your second part so what happens is that the light coming out of the first part it's being cancelled by the light coming out of your second part when there is a part difference of how much lambda and this much is the extra part traveled in that case what happens at this point P you will notice a dark fringe that means you won't notice anything in this right so if you have any confusion up till now you can ask or you can ask me in whatsapp i will re-explain it to you again now let us consider our third case when there is a extra part travel of how much thrice of lambda by two right now what is thrice of lambda by 2 this is lambda by 2 lambda by 2 3 lambda by 2 how many times 3 times of lambda by 2 fine now at this point the extra part travel will be lambda by 2 at this point the extra part travel will be lambda now look at carefully let us say we have this let us divide this slit into 12 independent sources now this 12 independent sources we can divide it into three parts this is your first part this is your second part and this is your third part 0 to 4 is your first part 4 to 8 is your second part 8 to 12 is your third part now look here carefully let us consider any source from your part 1 let us say this one which is coming out of the source 0 it goes and strike the surface at the point P fine now look here carefully let us consider the source from the point 4 this one goes and strikes the surface at the point P now just like in your previous case what we have studied if there is a part difference the two waves will interfere destructively so at this point what happens you should notice a dark spot fine okay but what about the part 3 the light coming out of this part 3 goes and strike the surface so you won't notice a dark spot but you will notice a certain bright spot at this point P so what you notice is that the light coming out of this part 1 is being cancelled by the light coming out of this part Two. but whereas the light coming out of this part 3 goes and strike the surface so you will see some light but no that light will not have the same intensity why because like the one at your center where all of this one they are focused to give you a maximum intensity whereas in your point P what happens only the part 3 is giving out light 
so what you actually notice is that you will notice a bright spot but it won't be bright as the center one so let us say if the center one is your central bright fringe so at your point p what you will notice you will notice your first secondary maxima your first bright fringe but this is your first secondary maxima fine and at this point somewhere in the middle of this two what you will notice is your dark fringe so that will be your first minima fine so how will they look they will look somewhat like this at the center at the center all of the light let us say at the center let us consider this is the screen at the screen what you will notice a pattern similar like this one so at the center what happened all of this light focus or they added constructively so you have a bright fringe so since all of them are contributing so it has the maximum intensity can you see this curve it has the highest peak this represents your intensity the maximum intensity at the center now after this one what we notice is at this point what happens the wave coming out of your part one was being cancelled by the wave coming out of your part two so at this point what you notice is your first minima fine now after your first minima what happens at this point what happened the light coming out of the first part was being cancelled by the light coming out of your second part but there was an extra part difference there means there will be the third part of the slit the light is being contributed from the third part of the slit and in this part only some of the lights were contributing so you will obtain a maxima but it won't be bright as your central one why because only small part of the slit or only the sum of the sources can can add it up constructively so what you notice is that there is a slightly less intensity bright fringe this is your first secondary maxima so in this pattern you will notice the interference fringes you will notice dark fringe then you will notice again a very lighter bright fringe again why because at this case more smaller quantity of light they are contributing so as you keep on going further what happens as you keep on going further the light intensity decreases and at a certain point it becomes dark so you will obtain a something like this at the screen where you obtain a dark fringe a bright fringe a dark fringe a central bright fringe a dark fringe bright dark and bright fine so that's it for today's class thank you in our next class we will try positions or we will derive how we get our central maxima and how we got our first secondary maxim first secondary maxima and our first minima fine so up till now if there is any confusion you can ask i will re-explain it to you again so thank you